Welcome back to a brand new episode of Break 75. Well, you know what? This week's episode, we're actually going to change things up. This week, we're going to do a Break 70. And you know why? I'm down here at genuinely one of my favourite golf courses where I grew up as an assistant professional. I've played hundreds of times around this golf course, May Golf and Country Club. And I know this place like the back of my hand. I'm feeling confident, it's a beautiful day, and I'm ready to go and shoot a score under par. I know it's even gonna make it better. I'm gonna guarantee we have one of my best rounds ever. I've enlisted the services today of my good friend and tour caddy, Will Davidson. Will, thanks for joining me, my friend. Glad to be here. Are we ready for the challenge? Oh man, I'm up for it. Let's do it. Will currently caddies on the LPGA for Lexi Thompson, but also Will has caddied for some of the biggest names in world golf. But today, he's got the task of guiding me around this golf course. And you've taken this serious. So I wasn't here yesterday because it was one of my kids' birthdays, but you came down and you scoped the place out. Yeah, yeah first time here, first time here. You know, I gotta get a little bit of lay of the land. And you know what we're doing now? Yeah, absolutely. What do you think the realistic target we should be trying to aim for oh, today? Hey, I'm, uh, you know, you said break 70, let's 69 it is. Let's go and try and shoot 69. <laughs> Right, Will, par five to start. I'm yeah. gonna let you literally tell me what shots to hit, what clubs to hit. Let's do it, let's do it. Pull the uh, the old yardage book out that I got yesterday, take a peek at it. You even made some notes. I That's did, so took, good. took some notes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so yeah, par five to start. Uh, we got a tree up there, 298. Don't know if you're reaching that one today, but uh, that small tree in the distance, a little round one. Yeah. Love that target. Okay, big stick. Let's get after it, big stick, let's Love get it. after it. That might be a little bit left there, Will, I'm afraid. It's all right, we'll find and go hit it again. Go and find it and hit it again. I like that line. <laughs> so obviously, when you caddy for some of the best players in the world, they have such control over their shots, yeah. their flights, their distances. Is it, do you feel much pressure when you're in big tournaments, when you're actually out there with them? You know, I really don't feel a lot of pressure. Just, you know, we kind of pick our line, get in the moment. You know, really just go. Like I just really go. don't feel like it's there's a ton of pressure to, to hit the right shot and all that. It's just kind of pick a line and go. Do you ever feel like you almost have to kind of emotionally manage your players around the golf course? Hundred percent. That might be something we have to do today. Oh hey, I got <laughs> you. You, I you got have you. to be not only a best friend out on the golf course and mentor, you also have to be a bit of a psychologist as well. Absolutely. I'm a mental coach. I'm a uh, a teacher, I'm a swing coach, Math all of the above. Math Mathematician, <laughs> yeah, all of the above. Bag carrier. Bag carrier. That's what some people yeah. think it is. They, people just sometimes think it's just carrying a golf oh, bag. I get so many people that ask what a caddy does, and I say, well, the, the simplest thing is I say, hey, I carry a golf bag, but there's just so much more to it, you know? Okay, so I found it. It's not in an ideal sp spot. It's very, very dry around here at the moment, isn't it? it is. The ball's rolling forever, so I've I thought I'd only just be off the fairway, but it's run and run and run through the other side of the trees. Mm. <laughs> you probably didn't expect to be here on the first shot, Will. No, but you know, hey, that's, that's how golf is. So <laughs> we're gonna find a, find a hole and uh, see if we can punch one through. I think I, I could get something aerial. You could, you might could go over the top there. Top. I feel like fade. aerial's got more of a chance than that gap down there, personally. Well, it depends on how aggressive we're going to be today. We can be very aggressive. Well, I mean, I could be... try and hit a big, 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 big slinger left to right. It's not my favorite shot in the world, but I could give it a go. I fancy going for it. See what Will says. All right, 230 to the front. Okay. We got a little bit of downhill, so play it maybe two, 225 I think front. I've got a full swing. Yeah, you're good on the on the swing there. Let's see, so 225. See, there's a huge cut in three wood or a huge cut in three iron. Which one you hit higher? I think I hit my three iron higher. I think the three iron too. I kind of like the three iron here. High cut three iron, just trying to land it, uh, just trying to get it over that first bunker you can see, landing it there and uh, letting it run up. Okay. It didn't cut. <laughs> I hit it unbelievable, <laughs> but yeah, it didn't cut. 
a little bit embarrassing walking up to the 70 and I'm there with a with a tour pro caddy. <laughs> I actually struck it outrageously well, but I just couldn't cut it hard enough. What are you thinking, Will? All right, so I think you got the lob wedge here. Okay. It's not gonna have any, any spin on it, so uh, just wanna try and land it on the edge there and see if we run one up. Yeah, it came out hot, tough fly. Yeah. So, back of the green, you like him putter here, Will? Love the putter here. Just okay. trying to get it on. Uh, Would Lexi Thompson put from here? Absolutely, 100%. Honestly? Every time. Okay, that gives me confidence. The birdie on the first hole. Boom! <laughs> Today is gonna be a good day. Today is a good day. <laughs> hey, you can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, right? I actually don't think I hit a single good shot there, Will. Yeah, <laughs> not a great tee shot. A stupid risky second shot, which luckily ended up in an okay spot. Not the greatest chip in the world, but holding off the back of the green. Hey, no pictures on the scorecard, right? But there is videos on YouTube. There is videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> second hole, par four. Uh, from these tees, it's about four, just under 400 yards. Yeah, so the line I looked at yesterday was up this cart path, just yep. on like the left center of this cart path. Perfect. Yeah, two seven two is your run out on that line there. So we want to want to stay a little shy of that. Kind of like the three wood there. Usually a three wood, or you like driver here? I, I, if I'd go with, if it's three wood, and unless I need the distance, I'd rather go three iron. Okay, that three iron's sense. fine, absolutely. I feel like I'm a little bit more accurate with three iron. Yeah, I'm firm enough wood. to do that for sure. Because if, if the run out's 270, I could, if I absolutely smoke a three wood, certainly yeah. with it being dry, I Definitely. could get a bit of run out there. Well, you're still gonna have a wedge in with the three iron, so I love that play. Down the line of the path. Yep, down the line of the path. Tiny bit of draw. Sit. Oh, off the tree. Oh, I think we've got a little lucky bounce there. The players you work with, how dialed into their distances are you? Oh yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's pretty impeccable. It's pretty spot on. Like, we actually really like really harp on trying to get the right number and really harp on on hitting that number. Yeah. I've got one four two for our pin here. Okay. This pin looks like it's kind of front edge. So yellow, yellow a front. Yellow's front, yep, so front edge there. Blue is middle and mm -hmm. white is back. Right, so we've got uh, 40 shy of that to get over these bunkers there, which shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. Um, I like probably just, just how firm I saw it yesterday, just laying a little bit short of that. Yeah, so what, what's, how far do you want me to carry it? Uh, let's carry it, uh, let's carry it about 10 shy of that. 10 shy of? 10, 10 to 12 shy of, what I say it was 140. Yeah, 140. So 130. Yeah, 130 shot here. Okay, nice pitching wedge. Got a little wind off of our right here. Not a whole lot there. Okay. So landed it pretty much at the front of the green, if not. Yep, off exactly. The green. Exactly. Okay. Right at it. Kick. Oh. Got a little right kick there. It's actually, I think that's finishing the bunky now. Oh, do you ever get players apologizing after the I do. Pitch? <laughs> yeah, I have actually. Um, and I just kind of look at it and say, oh, let's go get the next one. I mean. <laughs> right, so we found bunker. 60, oh, yeah. 60. Yep. Yeah. It's a nice little splash bunker shot. I'm a bit, I think I've landed that perfect distance. Yeah, I just came out a little bit right out of that rough. All right, not, not bad. bad there. Just kind of went right and stayed right. Oh, why you want the rake? That's well, my job. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you that. All right, I like that. That's quite good, isn't it? Is that ball clean? Oh. Thanks, sir. I think it's going to fall a little bit to the right. Okay, so left center. Oh, but that's such a weak putt. Ah, bogey. That's a level par. So today's mission is to shoot under par. And with Will's help, I think I've got the best chance of doing that. 
Now, I've got loads of questions to ask Will, I really have, but luckily, straight after filming this, we're gonna film a podcast with Will, which will already probably be out on the podcast channel, so go and check it out. But right now, I need to focus. I need to get my head in the game. I need to make some birdies, because there's some tough holes coming up, and there's actually even some tougher holes to finish. 165 playing 168. Okay. Three uphill, probably like hitting Probably close to that 160 to 165 number. Okay, so eight iron. Yeah. I, I normally hit eight iron about 165. Yeah, no, that should be good here. Get over that bunker. Yeah, should be on the green. Yep. We're dancing. A little bit right, but should be on the green. Quite obviously right to left up the hill. Yep. Couple of feet of movement. I would agree with that. Oh, I could be firmer than that, Rick. Could have been firmer than that. Firm as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't leaving that hey, one short. Back of the cup. Love that. <laughs> okay, stay level par, three, three. Fourth hole. Got those bunkers. It's going to be uh, two, four, seven to get over those bunkers. Yeah. Touch up hill, so say 250, 252. Yeah. Get over these. A um, little bit of breeze in her face. I like the driver here. Okay. Let's get it up there. Perfect. Have a little wedge in. Knock it over the bunkers. Yep. Love that. Oh, that's a really bad strike. Oh, sorry, Will. That's a really bad strike. Way off the heel. Okay, so I've hit my tee shots, hit these trees, and bounced back onto this other fairway. Not ideal. However, Will's going to give me a number. I'm going to hit it straight over these trees and stick it close. All right, I'm getting 161 flag here. As long as we carry it 136, a little bit into the wind here. Playing probably 140, 145. I like 145. To carry the bunker. To carry the bunker here. And then is there much, it's not much after that, is it? No, it should be just green right after that. 9-9? Nine, nine? I like that, yeah. I feel like I need the height as well to go over yep. the tree. Agreed. We're on the green, but it's a little bit, a little bit right. It's going to be a long putt from there. <laughs> I'm seeing this right to left again, wheeling yep, up the hill. I would agree with that. A little bit up the hill. I think it might swing a lot, kind of over the period of the putt. Yeah, I'm probably halfway between the shadow and the. Yeah, I love the that. There. Yeah. Okay. All right, give it a good roll. Get it back there. Ah. Oh. As long put, it feels they look faster than what I feel like they're going to be. Just a little bit off the right. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, just scraping these paths, but they're going in. Just level par through four. I was always a four. <laughs> the four written all over it, didn't it? <laughs> the only thing that's a bit different today, I felt quite confident recently. When you have somebody of Will's stature and expertise, I do feel a little bit more of, a, of an added pressure today. I just need to ease into this. Lots of holes to go. Still lots of times to make birdies. Right, Will. Still level par. Yep. Fifth hole. Slight dog leg to the right, par four. Yep. Um, looking at uh, two, three, five to get over that right bunker there. Okay. So. Driver on the right like, hand side. Yeah, I like the driver, the group of the trees just right of those, that small tree. So I'm going to pick a small target. Yep. I'm gonna commit to that. I'm not going to try and hit a shape. Driver. That is not going to be a good spot there, Will, I'm afraid. Well, you've been on some adventures so far today, Will. Yeah, you know, just want to see all the course. <laughs> You'd probably like to see a fairway at some point, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I think the grass looks nicer over there. <laughs> I thought we got. All right, we've got 132. I'll probably like a 120 here. I'm going to go gat wedge. So I'm coming left rough. I've actually come through the trees and actually left myself a line in just, but not ideal. Came out weirdly straight right. That's annoying. And that was been good for distance that as well. Let's flip it on top. Yep. Like 60 here. Please part. I 
my bad there. That was that line you said? That line literally landed right on the line. <laughs> that was good. Got another putt for par. Need to, uh, these are steady in the ship, but could be starting to give myself some looks at birdie. Little down the hill, right to left, just on the lip of the hole. Yep. Love that. Not too much speed, just drop it in the front door. Yep. Nice up and down. We salvaged par again. I felt the last hole and this hole off the tee, not for one second should I be making par. No. But so far, making par. Or should I say, let's rechange that dialogue. We are making par. There we go. That's how you talk now when yeah. you've got a caddy. We. That's right. <laughs> Alrighty. I was just driver straight away here. Yeah. Just a uh, dog leg left. Yep. Driver should suit my shape. Yeah. So like probably I'm, finishing either on the tall tree or on the little red tree halfway through the through the uh, trees there. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Right, come on, let's have a good driver. Let's let's see, let's show you what the fairway looks like this time, Will. Carry on, carry on, draw in. <laughs> I got it, fairway. That was actually it. the first shot today. I actually hit it out the middle which is a nice change, but I'm still not in the fairway. Ah, I started just hitting five iron off every tee just so I can find a fairway. Alrighty, 202 is what we're looking at here. Mm. It's annoying because if, if it just carried on shaping, you get a big bounce down this fairway, you're hitting a little wedging. We're looking at Probably one, 180. I was gonna say 180, 185 to that, uh, to that front there, so. Slightly into breeze. Yep, into the breeze, a little bit downhill though. This will probably run all the way up. Um, Chase a five iron down? I love the five iron here. Okay. Love the five iron on those little trees just right of that flag. Oh, it's carried on drawing. That's it. It's pin high, but it's just a little bit left. It was the right flight, but it just turned too much in the air. Making this hard work, Will. Okay, here at the side of the six green. I mean, I, I think you could probably take a uh, little bit of a lower club here and just kind of bump it and let it run up. Um, Cause you don't really know how that, uh, it may just be dry on top and wet on the bottom, uh, especially with a, with a lob wedge. It may come out a little bit funny. That's what we're thinking. So, you like something like the uh, the 50? 50 or 40, I mean 50? I'd probably go 46. 46, I was gonna say 50 it's, or 46. It's still like a proper wedge. Yeah, I like that. And land it short and run just it. land it. Yeah, just land it a little short of the green and uh, let it run up. Oh, I missed the dry patch. Missed the patch. Ah. I'm seeing downhill right to left. Yep. Just going, just moving a little bit down right to left. Okay, come on, Rick. To so stay level par through six. Not it. Oh, not it. Such a good line as well. I thought it was going to be really fast. Ah, bogey. Seventh hole, par four. Yep. Thinking man's hole, this will. Yeah, it is. A lot of bunkers up here. Um, driver's definitely the play. Get it over all the trouble. Um, there's only one bunker you can't cover. Yeah. So, um, Just left of that. Yep. Long as we, long as we uh, stay outside that, we'll be good. Right. Come on, driver. Finally hit one straight. I've actually still not somehow found the fairway. It's just run off into the first cut of rough. Crazy. Fairways are so dry at the moment. What are you saying, Will? All right, so we've got 69 on the cover, 70 on the cover, and 91 pin. So when Will says cover, he means basically get it over the water. Get over the water, get over the, the little wall there. I think landing at about 85. Love an 85 here. Can you go like 90% 60 degree club? It's the number, it's really good. Yeah, a little bit short. I've kind of landed that just over 80 and it stops super, super, super quick. Thanks, sir. I'm acting like a tour pro, but not playing like one. Thanks, pal. Right. Quite a bit of break in this. I've had a lot of right to left put so far, Will, and I think this is another one. Yeah, I think we're continuing that trend. 
Yeah, well, you got a little bit of a downhill right here, but I, I wouldn't really take that into consideration because I think the overall it's up yeah. a little bit uphill. It's a great look at it. Ah, oh, that was bang on line. Never mind. Should have put it close to my wedge. Okay, eighth hole, par three. One, four, six. Touch downhill. Should we try and box one? Yep, I'd love that. Any good night? Nine nine's good. Love the nine. I hit nine nine about one fifty. So I think yeah, that's that nice should be perfect edges. here. That is so bad. I'm guessing bunker. I would think so. I'm hoping bunker. I'm hoping bunker too. Okay, well, found the bunker. Left side of the green. Sat down a little. It's pitched there, and it's kind of sat down yeah. in the second bounce. It's a little chunky run here. Just kind of let her get it over the lip and just let it run down to the yeah, hole. I like that. Okay. We're still in the bunker, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, Will. I'm making more raking for you, pal. Ah, making this hard work. So we're one over. Rick's got to hold us to get to two. Um, might be going to three here. Got some work to do, but we've got some good holes coming up, some scoreable holes. Um, hopefully we can get his game together because it's uh, it's not ideal right now. But uh, I feel like he can get it done. We can get it done. Um, like I said, got some good holes, some good birdie opportunities coming up. Let's see what we can pull off. All right, really need this. A bogey after hitting two shots in the bunker. Just missed. Damn. From nowhere, three over par. A lot of work to do now to try and shoot under par and certainly break 70. It's looking a little bit harder. Well, that was terrible. Sorry, pal. Sorry. That was, uh, That's why there's 18 of them. <laughs> More time to make birdies. Two, two, two to cover that bunker on the left. Okay. Um, great target here is that. Uh, that, that short round tree in the distance, right over the middle of that, that long bunker. Yeah, that, perfect. Yep. Right. Ninth hole, par five, I'm three over. I need to make birdies. I need to make eagles. Start it right here. Let's do it. Kick left. Oh, it kind of took a big kick right, and then took kick the left. right kick, then the left kick. Should be either on the fairway or just a couple of the yards off the fairway. I think we found fairway number two. Well, I don't think we've even found fairway number one yet. Oh but. yeah, that, that one, yeah, that one was right on the edge, wasn't it? <laughs> 161 front. Okay. 177 pin. Okay. So okay. we've had a good drive, Danny. We have had a good drive. We've we've found the short grass. Mm, yeah. Short-ish. Check. <laughs> uh, 161 front. So probably only need to carry it a little bit over that. Yeah. So I think I agree with sign. that. Yep. So like a one, maybe like a one six five shot there. These clubs are so clean. <laughs> when have you done? When have you been doing this? <laughs> hey, it's just while we're walking. It's my job, isn't it? Okay, it is your job. Right. One seventy seven flag. Got to carry it one sixty odd. And you go left side of the pin. Come on. If we can hit a good shot here, we can have a real good look at eagle. Mm, we'll be putting, but not as close as I was hoping it would be. Right, Will, we're putting for eagle, pal. Yep. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Yeah, it's, it's not really... super close, but it's on the green and it's we've got to look at it. Yeah, I think it's just uh, it's bounced a little bit short and taking a big hop there. I got right to left the whole way. Yeah. Frake. The one time I get the speed right, I pushed it a little bit to the right. Started the nine with a birdie, finished it with a birdie, two over par front nine, not the greatest golf in the world. However, still got nine holes to go. That's right. Sure oh, I give that to you. you can give it back. <laughs> okay, back nine starts here. Tenth hole, par four, 423 yards. I'm currently two over par, very disappointed in myself. However, doesn't mean it's over, does it, Will? Not at all. 
okay. Plenty of opportunity ahead of us. This is uh, this is where your psychology really kicks in now. <laughs> on this, on this, I got you. On, on this nine. Uh, we're gonna go driver straight down, aren't we? Yep, driver straight down. That's how you start the back nine. Driver straight down. Okay, finally, split the fairway here on 10. Starting the back nine as I mean to go on. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna make birdies. I'm just gonna make a string of birdies with Will's help. We, we're gonna make a string of birdies. That's right. <laughs> One, three, three is our number to that flag. A little it's bit a into the breeze. breeze. So 33, probably playing closer to that 40 number. Yeah. But I still think, I still think trying to maybe land it, because that's middle pin, right? Yeah. So I still probably like that 35, just trying to play that 35, just so leave just a shallow hole. Yeah. With a pin high, just a little bit left. This actually, first time in a long time, downhill left to right. Thanks, pal. Go on, you give, us a, you give us a proper read, Will. I'm somewhere kind of in this area. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Yeah, I love that. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was so good as well. A few of them, Will. It's all right. Right, so we're gonna have to drive here, I think. Well, Let's... there's a couple of options here. It's a par four up the hill mm -hmm. to the and dog leg left. I, I don't know if it's because it's so firm. I don't know if I fancy shaping like a three wood. Yeah. Or even a three iron. I'm good with both of those. I oh. feel like how firm the fairways are, if I can get one chasing down there with a draw, mm -hmm. it's just gonna run and run and run and run yeah. up the hill. Start it, start it at the nice, the tall tree there. Yeah. With a nice little draw. Yeah. Let Let's it run. That. Love that. Should be good. Yeah, should be good. I like a 160 here. Just, I, I like so getting it all the way back that's there. A, that's an, a very easy eight iron. Yeah. You like hitting the easy eight? You like trying to hit the full nine? I don't think I can get a nine one six. Yeah. How far do you think you get that nine? 155. Oh, that's doable there. I like the eight. I'm gonna go with eight. Three quarter eight. I just think if I go nine as well, it's gonna stop up. I agree. I try and just chip it in with an eight. Three quarter eight, just on the right side of that flag. Let that wind bring it back to the flag. Just like that. Should be good. Took a little yeah. nasty kick left, but should it be did. good. Okay, so we're on the back edge of the green. Got a very nice uphill putt for birdie. What's breaking it, Will? May, may just trickle just a hair to that right at the very end. Yeah. Oh. Stayed out there. Did. I didn't, I didn't mean to start it left, as in as far left as that. Good for speed, in for par. Still too over par. Will, do you have sausage rolls in America? Uh, no, we do not. <laughs> this I've, is, I've had them though, they're good. They're very good. Very posh here at the mirror. You got a plate and knife and fork. Right, I'm gonna test it without ketchup. Give it a review. Mmm. Good. Not my best. Don't tell him that, but not my best. Um, 7.2 out of 10. It, it filled a hole. Okay, 12th hole, just after the uh, halfway house and the sausage rolls, we're all energized and pumped to go. Mm -hmm. uh, par three, uh, what we're looking at here, Will. We need, currently now I'm two over, right. and the plan's to shoot under par, so I need yep. to make birdies. Gotta, gotta birdies, make a couple birdies. here. Um, all right, so we got 161, this pin's in the front. Looks like it's only about four or five on here. Yeah, it's so really, it's really so let's say 155, 156 front. A um, little bit of breeze down off the left. Yeah. I like the nine iron here. Nine? Yeah. Okay. Oh. That might be in a lot of trouble. It's on the next tee. I'm hitting those irons so bad at the moment. Massive, massive, massive draws. Ah! Terrible. Okay, so I'm left side of the green. I hit a terrible tee shot. I think we've just got to pitch this on the green, haven't we, Will? Yeah, just get it on the green. Give ourselves a look at it. OK. 
kick straight. Stop. Yeah, well done there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Good for distance control at least. We've got to put for par. You see much in that wheel? Not a whole lot there. What you seeing? I see hardly anything. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm just going to go dead yeah. straight at it. Back of the cup. Oh, nice par in the end. Making it hard work, some of these, though, Will. Yep, like I said, still on that grind a little bit. <laughs> We're running out of holes to keep grinding. <laughs> All right, so 323 into that fairway. Uh, I like the driver here. Kind of at the, at the one the one tree uh, left of the striped roof. Okay. On the right side of that uh, orange bush. Yeah, there. little pointy one. Yeah, little pointy one. Hardest hole on the golf course, this. Par four. And we've got a good string where we can start making some birdies. Come on. That's right. Ah, get out of there. Might be all right. Well, be all right. Just might be getting close to those trees on the left. Right, Will. We're in a pickle. We're in a pickle. <laughs> Me and Will. Uh, I've come down the left-hand side here on 13 and blocked out by this tree. And what, 150 odd? 166. 166 pin. Yep. I think there's only one play here. Big hook. Just, just gotta it down just there. punch something just to see how much it runs. Yeah, everything's I mean, gonna run down to right, the green. Right, exactly. Even if you've got a, even if you're 15, 20 shy of the green, it's just a pitch straight up the green. Yeah. Make our par. Go to the sure, next six hole. Six or seven. Uh, if you think you can keep the seven under that, I like the seven. Yeah, I think I can get the seven under that, and I think I can probably get it shaping. Punchy seven iron, just get it running down that way. Sorry if you miss right of this because we got plenty of room. Simmer, 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 simmer. Settle. Oh, oh it's just gone a bit big. That was good. It looked nice. You might not have seen this, so I hit it through those little kind of overhanging leaves. It landed probably 20 yards short of the green with the perfect amount of draw and it's just not been able to put the brakes on. I've got a funny feeling it's either at the back edge of the green or just rolled over the little back of the green. Yeah. Oh, either so way though, close. either way though, we're gonna have a look at it. Right, Will, we've just come off the back of the green. Really unlucky that, because it, it was tracking, but it just couldn't put the brakes on. Yeah. 60? 60. Should we try and chip one in? I'd love to. I'll go get it out of the cup. Yeah. Good for distance, bad. just didn't quite get the line. Okay, we'll just confirm what I think it already is for me. Yeah, I like your line there. I feel like it's just inside the hole, Love just that. off the left. Love that. Well done. Thank you. We stay at two over with five holes to go. All right, so 14 here, um, 174 pen. Uh, got a little bit of breeze down off of our left here. Um, Probably landed just, just a few shy of that pin, like that. Do you think it might be eight iron that? It could be an eight here, get, just because we want to stay, because that's a back pin, we want to stay a bit shy of that. Yeah, I feel like if I absolutely yeah. crush the seven, it might actually go a little bit too far. Thanks, mate. Yep. So I can go 160 out with this. Yep, I like that. I like the one, uh, yeah, the 160 with that. Get there. Oh, it's there. Perfect. I think that's almost enough there. That's great. I didn't actually yeah. catch that like phenomenal, yeah. but I think, I think that's good. I think with this little shoot here with the trees, you just get a little bit of extra wind. Yeah. A little extra help good. there. Point for birdie, everybody. Come on, we need one. Okay, interestingly enough, we've actually hit this a little bit long. It's a good job I moved from seven to eight. Yes, it is. I must have. I think we've just caught a caught quite a little. Yeah, we'll just caught there. a hot spot or something. So, just off the back of the green, still be putting it anyway. Well, you know, hey, last time we put it off the green. I walked in. That's right. I think it's absolutely dead straight. Dead straight it is. Come on. <sighs> Ooh, good effort. It's a little bit too much pace. Nearly dropped straight in, but I've now rolled it three or four foot pit past. Ah. Shouldn't be too much in it. It rolled very straight past the hole. Oh, 
Very good. Thank you. I feel like I've held quite a bunch of them today. We have held quite a bunch of them today. Right, four to go, two over par. I think my score genuinely will would have been worse without you here. However, no, it would have been. However, I do feel like there's, we've left a number of birdies out there today. We have, we've left a couple uh, dead in the jaws, just short, a couple putts. Let's go, let's go and finish these four in style. Let's go and make a handful of birdies. It's a great, great hole here. Um, so driver, we can carry the bunker, I mean, carry the water, yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Should be able to carry the bunker too. It kind of gets wider. It, it does, driver, it does, honest. it does. I, I definitely like driver. Love the stairs and the distance. Yeah. I'm trying to finish on those stairs. Perfect. Little breeze off the right, if anything. So it suits the hole. Suits the hole. Suits the hole, suits your shot. I'm going to just let the draw happen this time. A little bit down the left. There's a 17th green there, but it didn't go as far left as that. It's probably kicked off the back of that. That'd be fine. Nice little shot into the green. Pins at the front here, Will. Yep. We found it down the left-hand side. Got one 130, 135 adjusted, a little bit up here. That pins at the front. Being on the downslope like this, probably gonna come out pretty low and run, so. I think just chipping something and just kind of letting it run up there. So it should, if we just pitch this just right of that flag, maybe on that window, or just on the left side of that window, it should run back down towards that flag. Think I can get that with pitching much? I think you can. One, three, five is your total. Yeah. We really just kind of want to get this front edge running. Yeah. Ball's on the down slope, so it should come, come out a little bit lower there. anyway. Yeah, I like it. Okay, and it's gonna draw a little bit off that line as well. It is, it is. Kick left. Oh, big left kick. That should be good. Should be good. I'd imagine so. All right, so we're still two over. Um, got four to play. Rick's, uh, he struggled a little bit off the tee, but uh, had some great par saves today. Um, I feel like we've still got a chance at it. We got four left. We got a great opportunity here. Uh, looks like a about a six or seven footer for birdie. So we get this one rolling in. Never know what can happen. Mike can roll a few more in down the stretch and get it back, back under par. See what we can do. We need a birdie. Yep. Up the hill, right to left, one of our favorites. Yep. We're going to pick this one out the hole for me. Yep, I got it out of the hole. Thanks, you Mike. got it. We got one, baby. <laughs> I need to do that uh, speed. Go get that, Will. <laughs> yeah, go get that. Great nice pot. work, right. One over, three to go. There's light at the end of this tunnel, potentially. So that was nice. Felt like I needed that birdie with a couple of holes to go. I reckon we can make a couple more. We can still finish under par. Um, you know what? Having Will on the bag today has been phenomenal. I've really enjoyed it. You know what? More than anything, when you have a caddy, certainly with expertise, you trust what they say. Like if he says to me, hit that shot into that green, I'm like, yeah, trust. It's almost like two minds are better than one when it comes to decision making. Um, I think the only con that I found, I'll say this while he's, he's on to the next tee, is I feel like a weird sense of like pressure, like responsibility when you've got someone caddying for you. Like I almost don't want to let him down. You know, I feel if I hit a bad shot, it kind of affects him, which he probably won't do. He probably doesn't give a damn. But anyway, he's been class today. Don't forget, check out the podcast we've done with him. I think it's gonna be really good. All right, three holes to go. Two birdies needed. Let's try and get three. Okay, Will, 16th, big dog leg, right to left. I mean, this is this is a perfect three iron here. Big three iron raking draw. Oh yeah. I love that shot. My yeah. favorite shot to hit. Keep drawing. Kick back. Needed another 10 yards left, but we're absolutely A-OK -okay there. Um, right, so we've got 170 cover, okay. 182 flag. I feel like A-tying could come out too hot. I do think this, uh, I do think this comes out 
quite quite nice. But there's no way I'm getting nine there. I don't see you getting nine there uh, without it landing short and running up. So we're just gonna hit a, a good eight, I think a nice got, eight. I think you just gotta hit a, a nice controlled eight here. Yeah, it's not a full out hit it as no. hard as I can, is it? No, it's not one of those. And the greens are, thanks. The greens are somewhat receptive. Yeah, they are. There's a tiny backstop just past that flag. Go a bit. Go a bit. Oh. Of course, it's soft right there. Right at the front of the green. Damn. It's close. It was close. See much in it? Got a little, uh, it's like a, a bit of right to left, right at this very beginning part. So just run up the right side? Yep. Oh, it bounced. Ah, uh, it just hopped early, didn't it, on me? Yeah, it did. Uh, in for par. One over, two to play. A fairly short par four coming up. Yep. And a very gettable par five. Yeah, that uh, sounds like... over. That sounds like two birdies to me. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> I mean, this is... It could be driver today. It's 310 to run it. Should we just go for it? I think so. Yeah. What's at, what's at the end of that road, uh, end of the fairway there? Just a little tiny dip, and then you're up on the green. My only fear. Yep. So on this hole, seeing where the pin was, it's very much at the front. Where was the uh, pin? Was the front? Right at the front. Mm. You've yes, either got to so... get right up there and chip, or lay it back and try and hit a fuller shot in. I think when you make birdie, right? I just don't know what I'm. My best strategy of making birdie is. I don't know if I might be better hitting like a hundred yard mm -hmm. wedge shot rather than a little fiddly chip up there. Usually if it's a front pin, I'd much rather have a wedge in. Okay, let's do that. Let's do it. So let's so, lay it up. Let's go something. I, li I like 100 yards left into the pin. Okay. Something that 250 range should leave you right around that 100 yard. Four iron. Yeah. I'll have a slight, I think I'm gonna have slightly longer than 100 inch. I didn't quite catch every bit of it. 91 front. 100 pin. Oh, 100 pin. Right on it. There we go. Smirk so on my face when I got shot at. <laughs> so it's 56 degrees. Those branches, do you think they're going to no. just hamper? Nah, I think you'll be fine. Don't even see the branches. Okay. Well, I can land it just left anyway. You can. Yes, you can. Okay, come on, Rick. Let's put one close. <laughs> Mm, that was long. Thinned it a bit. Ah, thinned it a touch. That was annoying. How far do you hit your 60? Uh, I could probably muscle it to 100, actually. Yeah. I probably could have so I was thinking, that, shouldn't I? I was thinking your 60 there, you can, you could probably have landed that right on the front. Yeah, I probably should have absolutely tried to Coming out of the smash rough. a 60. I just think sometimes with trying to smash a 60, Sometimes you can get a little you bit under, under it. it. Yep, definitely. And it popped down to like mm -hmm. 95 and suddenly I'm down so, this hill. So what I what I like to do with my 60 is I I actually I move it back like maybe a half ball in my stance. Just to catch it. And just to, and still take that same swing, just kind of feel like I've really just keep that shaft lean yeah. forward for me. He still pops up in the air though. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I mean, it's just because it's I mean I'm only de-lofting it by you know a degree or two. Yeah. So definitely right to left in the beginning, a little bit down the hill, then back up the hill, continuing a little right to left. Okay. Yeah, I love your line there. That's Boxer. It did straight in, didn't it? Yeah, it does go left. It does go back left, right? <laughs> It does straighten. Wow. I played here for... Oh, see, now I ne look like the idiot. <laughs> ne nearly 20 years of my life. And I didn't even know that moved that way. Will, Will called it. But I didn't trust him. <laughs> right to left still from here? Yep. Just a little bit. Another good, good two putt from there. I'll take that. Yep, another Need good part. Need an eagle up the last which I've done before, and I shall do again. 
Okay, last hole, 18th, par five, sweeps round to the right hand side. Once upon a time, I parred this only using a pitching wedge, and that's had yeah. millions of views weirdly over Facebook. So now is the time to eagle it. All my clubs in the bag, driver off the tee. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack the corner. Let's do it's it. just literally going straight for it, unless you're gonna talk me out of it. I love the tech. I'm just gonna absolutely tonk it over the corner. Should be good. No trees there. I think it should be good. Okay, as we get round the corner, perched on the fairway. Finally, oh, Will. It's perfect. I hit a good bloody tee shot. Finally, ripped you one. You just needed a warm up, that's all it was. <laughs> just needed 17 holes. Seven, a quick 17 hole warm up. In 30 degrees of heat. And we found a fairway. And honestly, we're not gonna have a long way into this hole. No. 158. White is in the back, right? Yeah. So, 158. So you're gonna have at least 20 to 25 shy of that to yeah. the front of the green. So let's just say 138 to be safe here. 138, 135 front, a little bit downhill. I mean, 158 pen, gotta be looking at like a 150 shot here with the downhill, right? Just a nice 99. Love that. Yep, right at it. Let's do it, let's finish in style. Stop drawing. Right there, right there. We're on the green, it's not super, super close. But we've got a look at Eagle at least. Right, well, I'm not even looking anymore. Sorry, that was a bit disrespectful. No, I, no, I, hey, you're good. Um, last hole, Eagle opportunity. This would be to shoot 70. After a very mixed round of golf. But since the eighth hole, a very good round of golf. Yeah, we've started playing better since the eighth. What are you thinking, Will? Oh, I got a great spot that I really like here. There's a light spot right yeah. here. I like running, running on that left edge of that, that light spot, right edge of this spot. Okay. I like how you go for the like the apex of the mm. of the putt. Yeah, I'm quite an apex green reader. I like picking a point versus you know three cups outside the hole or whatever. All right, let's see it off. Okay, eagle on the last to shoot under par with Will on the bag. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's such a such good such a good roll at it. Ah. Oh. Either way, so guys, that is that. Finished with 71, which for a lot of things, I broke 75. That's the main objective of these videos. So thank you, Will, for that. Yeah. I genuinely believe if it wasn't for your help today, I would have shot closer to 80, if not over 80. But considering you're on the bag, you kept me focused, you kept me in track. I played terrible for the first eight holes, but you kept me kept me going. It was a grind. And in the last 10 holes, we played a lot better. Managed yeah. to shoot a level par today, 71, which I'd be happy, very happy with, in fact. Uh, thank you, pal. Absolutely, man. Do you want to carry for me next week? Yeah, definitely. I'm in. You've not got Lexi to carry for? i got a week off. Okay. Should be all right. We'll just keep Will. Will, you just carry for me now. You don't need Lexi. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. Make sure you subscribe and like, and we'll see you soon. Peace.